It is 11, no, it is 1040 at night. We're waiting for a train. Me, we're down to three. Me, Shirley, and Tippy. We're going up to Rovanemi to see the Arctic Circle and maybe the Northern Lights. I don't know, fingers crossed. Don't want to jinx it. But we'll also see Santa's Village, which is built in an underground bunker. But the train that we're going on is called the Santa Sleeper Train. And it's a direct train all the way up to Rovanemi. It's around 12 hours. And um, you can either do it in the day or at night. I figure since I'm sleeping anyway, might as well make use of that time and be moving. But in the daytime, you'll see more of the countryside under snow. I don't know, you pick. But I'll give you a tour of the train as soon as we can board. Word to the wise, if you are traveling with kids, I would try and leave on the seven o'clock or 7.30 train because the 11 o'clock, there just isn't very many places to sit. It gets real cold in the train station and you'll be a lot more comfortable on a train rather than sitting around in the station. They do have lockers available if you wanted to store your things, but only for backpacks and very small carry-on luggage. I booked a upper floor private cabin because I wanted my own bathroom and to give you all a tour. They also have the lower floor private cabins, but you have a shared bathroom, but these are the ones that have the family rooms where you can lower the partition. So here's the shower. Basic, and then this closes. That closes and then you have the mirror, the sink, and the toilet. It's all private, so. What up, peeps? You do have outlets and it locks. Two bunk beds, a decent foam mattress, some blankets, some water, and then the menu, so. So I am very excited to do this Santa sleeper train because when I wake up in the morning, I'm probably gonna be able to see the Northern Lights out the window. It's looking really promising. Um, Shirley and Tippy are in a different car because they are bunking together. So I'll leave the link down below on how to book this train specifically. You just wanna make sure you're getting the 12 hour train that goes straight to Rovinami. If you don't, then you probably aren't gonna end up there. But um, this one goes straight up to Santa's Village, like I was saying, and you get to sleep. Well, who else can say that they went to bed the night before their birthday and woke up to see the Northern Lights and go see Santa? I don't know. See, this is why I'm wearing the Christmas hat. I am so excited. I just wish Tippy and Shirley could be in here with me, but alas, there's only two to a room. That being said, now that I'm thinking of it, I do think that they have some family rooms available where there's like a queen and then a bunk bed out up top where like two small kids could share like head to end or something. So get creative when you're looking at the, the tickets when you're booking. We're moving by Helsinki. The food on board isn't that great, so I do recommend that you go and grab something before you get on the train for breakfast the next morning. Their coffee and tea is good though. I did wake up in the middle of the night to see if I could see the northern lights and it was a no-go. It was quite cloudy. But waking up to these snow-covered Lapland pines, it really felt as if I was approaching Santa's village. And I was just manifesting so hard that I would be able to see the northern lights for my birthday. Once you get to Rovanimi, you either want to take a bus or quickly grab a taxi before they're all gone. It's hard to get one once they leave. And we headed over to my hotel, the Arctic Circle Hotel. Well, the girls still have my crown on my head. Would not let me leave the hotel room without it. So there you go. Princess or queen for a day. Birthday queen for a day. <laughs> um, we are going to be headed out to the Northern Lights tour with Wild About Lapland. So it does look like the clouds are supposed to clear around 11 p.m. midnight. Hopefully we'll be able to get to see everything. Fingers crossed, fingers 
toes everything crossed. They provide um, some trousers to help you, like a snowsuit to help keep you warm, as well as boots, and then they take you out and, you know, you cook sausages and stuff, and so, um, we're just, I just decided, you know what, we're gonna have a birthday dinner. So we're here at Monterosa in the Arctic City Hotel uh, restaurant. I'm just gonna, I feel really guilty about this, but I'm gonna have reindeer for the first time. Don't judge me. But it's the thing to do here, apparently. It's, it's one of, it's how the Sami people survived and they grow their own reindeer and um, it's what they use for sustenance. So when in Rome, right? This is the king crab soup with some pine essence in it. The queen shall sip her soup now. The queen eating the king. <laughs> the queen is eating. That sounds really bad, Tippy. <laughs> the king crab soup. She's eating. Queen's eating the king crab soup. Yeah, <laughs> I'm eating the king crab soup. Oh, okay, we're done. <laughs> Alright, gonna try reindeer for the first time. So it looks like a little, you know, mashed potatoes and gravy sort of a thing. The texture isn't bad. It's very salty. But it's kind of like a cross between a pot roast and bacon. It's good. It's just very different. Birthday creme brulee. Favorite part right here. I might be backwards, but I'm not basic. Cheers to another year around the sun. Mm. Mm. Good. Good creme brulee. All right, so we're getting our suits. I'm gonna see if this one fits. Tippy and Shirley are getting theirs. Here's our guide. Hello. Name? Santi. So what is it called? Norvayarve. We are going on the direction to Norvayarve. Norvayarve. It's a frozen lake. Yeah, a frozen lake. And Yarve means in Finnish lake. Ah, okay. So we are going to the one of the biggest lakes here in Rovaniemi. but uh, we were able to see the Northern Lights dancing and got some great photos with our guide here. He's, he is a master of photography uh, when doing the Northern Lights up here. It's been so much fun already and now we're headed into the Arctic Circle to maybe get some even stronger Northern Lights and if they're strong enough, possibly go to, I mean, it's just gonna be a whole thing tonight. I'm so excited, sausages, fire, Santa Village, Northern Lights, like you can't get much better than this. times in life where you want to do these bucket list items so bad you're willing to do them on their on your own however i am so grateful that tippy and shirley we were all able to share this incredible experience together i wouldn't have had my birthday any other way all right what'd you guys think <laughs> Shirley's half asleep. <laughs> I'm cold. <laughs> yeah, it is very cold. There's like a legit freezing fog on the way back. So uh, he was nice enough to tell us he could drop us off at our hotel. But shh, don't tell anybody. 
Thanks for watching and make sure to join me next week as we head over to Santa Park. I will see you in the next one. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this with a friend because more the merrier. Bye.